All right, we're going to do the staining today on our picture frame. Um, so here's our picture frame, ready to be stained before we put all the finishing pieces on it. Uh, the button hooks, uh, the sawtooth, all that stuff that's got to be finished, or even before we even laser as an option, uh, we want to get our staining done. So I went over, I grabbed a can of stain from the back room. Um, I brought this out. You guys do the same thing. Bring it out, put it back when you're done. I also have a rag. Just one rag is all I need for this project. And I have the one um, uh, screwdriver that's turned into the pry opener for all our stains, as you can see, it's, it's nasty. We keep it to this one so we don't make everything else nasty. So I brought the can out. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake it up so I can get the, the stain ready. Okay, hands on top, both hands, holding down firmly, just in case someone didn't put it on strong, okay. All right, we're good to go. Now, I have my gloves on already. Make sure when you're done with the gloves, you throw them out. I'm gonna take our screwdriver and I'm gonna pry the outside around it. I usually do four corners on a circle. See how that one makes sense? And then once I got the top off, I'll carefully put the top off to the side. You can see I'm working on cardboard. Usually on the tables we'll have a drop cloth. The table behind me has a drop cloth, but this one doesn't. I just felt it looked really nice for this video, so I, I came over here. It's got a very Banksy look uh, to the uh, table. Anyways, gloves are on so I don't ruin my uh, hands and stuff, and then keep your stuff away from the clothes. All right, so I got my rag. When you're done, the rag can get thrown out. We have plenty of rags, one per, per shot. So what I like to do is I like to get it where I put my finger in there, kind of make it pointy. And then I go ahead and I dip that into the stain. Now that I got it in the stain, what I'm gonna do is put it on top and I'm gonna rub it in, okay? I've said this before in other videos, if you see me talk about stain or I've said it in class, less is more. Uh, the less amount of stain you're using, the better, because you don't wanna gob it on so it looks real nasty. If I use just a little bit and I rub it in nice and smooth with the grain, make it look good, um, we're gonna get better results. Again, I picked a nice clear because I really like the look of this wood. I just want to make sure that it's protected and that it has a little bit, a little more of a clear finish. So I'm going to get on the inside of the frame. Basically, you know, any any part that can be seen by someone who's going to have this, you know, hanging on the wall, you're going to want to make sure you have good stain covering it. So I'm getting all the insides. Okay, rub it on there. I have some leftover from where I was wiping before, I like to use that up so I'm not using a ton. And as you can notice, for all the front side parts so far, I've only dipped it in like twice. It doesn't take a ton. Okay. So I got the top done, I got the inside, and then dip in again, and I'm gonna get enough for the outsides. Now, um, I'm only going to do one layer for this video so that the video doesn't take forever. If you um, do your staining, you want to put another layer on, you think it needs to be a little darker or something like that, you can do that. Okay, that, there's nothing wrong with that. This stuff dries pretty quick. Um, let's say you're doing this in the full class period. Uh, 20, 25 minutes later, it's usually pretty dry and you can see what it's going to look like. You could always put another layer on. Um, if need be, you can let it sit till next class and you can put another layer on at that time. Or you can always ask us if available, um, you can come down during Falcon time and put another layer on the same day or maybe even the next day since class is usually every other day. So we have opportunities for you to come down and put second layer, third layer on if you want to your project. Now I'm not going to dip in again, but I'm just going to take all the stuff I have left and just try to evenly uh, put some on the back side. Even though people aren't going to see the back side, um, I like to put at least a real light layer on. So again, it's protected a little bit. So now that I got everything on there, my picture frame is good. I'm going to set it down here on the dry part of the cardboard. Just check to see if there's any uh, parts that look like it's a little heavy. And there is, so I'm just taking that off. And now I'll let that sit. And then next time, um, I'm ready for class or at the end of class, I'm going to go put it on the drying racks, the shelves over there. And then next time I can come back, look at it and see if I need another layer as well. So before I'm done, I'm going to cover up my stain. 
and take hold down the the lid take the back end of the screwdriver and hammer down around the sides so it's on there good and firm I can leave this here gloves and the rag are going to go into the garbage Ooh, that glove did not want to come off my bear paw hands. So this is going to go in the garbage, and this can is going to go into storage, and then I'm done.